Okay, so I thought I'd try and see how many 4K streams I can put in together. Uh, I am having to screen record this on the iPad, so that, to be fair, that's not the best thing to do because that's obviously going to take some resources from it. But we'll see how far we can get on. So we've got 3820 there, uh, that first clip. Let's go for the second clip here. So now we've got two 4K streams. Uh, and what I can do is I can make that one a bit smaller and move it up to the corner, leave that one in the background. So there's two 4K streams of a press play. You can see they're working. So now let's get a third in the mix. Tap on that, make that one smaller. Oop. Make that one smaller. Let's pop it up in the corner here. So that's three 4K streams and I'm screen recording at the same time and that works fine, looks nice and smooth and as you can see you can really go through uh, and if I want to do uh, a little cut I can, you see it didn't struggle with that. Uh, let's put the fourth 4K stream in, this one here, this is a bike one, bum, 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 bum. there you go. So oh, it's already, so here you can see that it's not as smooth as it would normally be. Uh, right, so four seems to be the one that starts to not help. So let's have a look and see what happens if we just play it back normally rather than scrubbing through it. Yeah, it's playing back all right. The scrubbing, yeah, so the scrubbing isn't, so it's really fluid normally, the scrubbing. You can see that the scrubbing isn't as pleasant to use when, when you're overloading it like this. But let's put a fifth one on. So what's this juggling one? Uh, so where am I going to put that where I don't obscure the other one? So I guess maybe... There's not a lot of room now, is there? Let's make that one small. Let's go back. So five 4K streams. Oh. Yeah, so you can see it slowed down there. But to be fair, this is a hell of a lot that it's doing. Uh, and obviously the newer iPad could be even better at this. Uh, this has got four gig around this iPad Pro. Uh, and some of the new non-pros have, I think, three. Right, so let's try it. So this is the sixth video, all 4K, uh, and let's put it, I guess, here. Let's go back. So, hit play. So it's slowing down. Uh, if I scrub through it, you can see that it doesn't change a whole lot. And again, this is, this is I mean, I don't shoot in 4K um, just because uh, of the file sizes and things. I, I tend to stick to, to 1080, 60. Um, but, uh, but yeah, you can see that it's definitely slowed down, but it hasn't crashed. So what I'm going to try and do is save that project uh, and see how long it takes to save. So we'll save it at 30 because it is 30. I normally save it 60. Looks like it's going to whip through that pretty quick. So that took about 40 seconds. It was pretty accurate. You can see the new file is up here. So let's quit out, go to camera roll and have a look. Yeah, that's fine, isn't it? it? It's that's incredible. So to think that that's six 4K streams all put together, all overlapping, and uh, and it looks that good. I'm impressed. So let's go back into Luma Fusion. Uh, so where does it start to get choppy? I think it started to get choppy on uh, on four. So if I go back, so this is four. 4K streams, and if I scrub through, the scrubbing's alright. 
to be fair. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, but then if I try and play it, Actually, so four is working, and again, you've got to remember that this is screen recording at the same time, uh, and that's not not struggling at all. So four 4K streams, no worries.